Hey y'all, this is Gary with Green Velvet Sod Farms. We're here today at Oakwood City Schools. Greg Getz, who's the superintendent for the city schools on the grounds department, as well as Wayne Horman from Landmark Seed. And they're gonna talk to you about the Hampton grass seed and some of the fall projects that, that Greg goes through to get the field prepped and, and in good condition. Greg's field is the only grass field in the whole conference. So he's done a great job keeping it in natural turf. Greg and Wayne. Hi, uh, yeah, we're out here in a October 2nd, is it? Another 95 plus degree day, isn't that super nice? And oh, by the way, in the middle of a drought you're dealing with? Correct, yeah, no rain. No rain, when's the last time you got rain out here? It's had to be five, six weeks, I bet. Well, that's just fantastic, isn't it? Well, a couple of questions for you as we're out here. Um, this field was seeded, uh, has been seeded with Hampton, Kentucky bluegrass um, over the years, correct? The last several years we've been using the Hampton. Fantastic. Uh, good coverage. How many games have you had on this field already? Eight games this so far right now. We've got 10 more left for the season. Well, it looks like you still have really good density and a good recovery. You're mowing it at what height right now? We're at two and three quarter, and we'll be down to about two to two and a quarter inches by the end of the week. That's perfect. And now, if I recall, you mentioned a couple of weeks ago you applied a growth regulator. Can you tell me a little Where bit about you, that? I've been using the TNEX growth regulator throughout the entire growing season. I mean, it helps with keeping my mowing times less. The strength of the grass has just been incredible. No disease issues, which is surprising with the 90 plus degree heat. No fungicides have been applied and I uh, contribute that to the Hampton grass and the TNEX combination and the fertilizer that I get from Gary at Green Velvet. Um, it's like a whole big package. It's Fantastic. really helped out. Fantastic. Now, as far as uh, with the PGR use um, going in, you, did you see, have you seeded since the PGR or are you going to seed a little bit later in the season? I have seeded prior afterwards after the uh, pgr went down several Got weeks it. ago that's just spot seeding divots that i've seen after the games so you're halfway through your season and uh when are you looking at seeding again as far as uh um, maybe between the hashes or what are you looking at doing next probably a few more weeks get a few more games under our belt and then hope the weather is still comparable to get seed before we do a complete dormant seed yeah, that dormant seed is critical, especially considering uh, all the damage that will still take place. And, you know, we're going to probably have a Friday night that's going to have rainfall at some point in time, right? I'll yeah. take the rainfall yeah, on a Friday night. Yeah, I'll take the rainfall. I'll take the that's rain, great. not on a Friday night. Yeah, not a, but, but it's likely to happen. With that, you get all that damage, um, and a, at least in a fall or a dormant application like that, you get a, have a chance to have some recovery on, on your field. Uh, as far as the fertility uh, program, how much fertility do you have down for the season on this so far? We've got at least probably four to five applications of fertilizer already. The last treatment was about three weeks ago with the 2020, uh, and I was just blown away by the response of that. Fantastic. I mean, it shot out of the ground, and I'm going to probably hit it with one more dose of that to get it through the rest of the season, and then go into my late fall seeding That's after good. the season. Well, excellent. Well, it's been a great time visiting with you. I, I wish I could give you more rainfall, but uh, hey, we'll see what nature lets, uh, lets you have the rest of the season. Well, Thanks a lot. That. Thank you.